What if I told you life is a beautiful moment? Filled with all kinds of beautiful moments. There's a beautiful moment in everything. Cause life is a big beautiful moment. And that beautiful moment starts inside of you. Greetings. So this is day three for me with the Yaki Awaken Three Bitters. For me, it hasn't been as rough for other people or even rough at all, to be honest. Um, I started my cleansing uh, with uh, Lent. So that's March, March, April, May, yeah, March 1st. And I started eliminating, I smoked clove uh, cigars. So I stopped those. I also stopped eating meat, started back exercising. Um, my body went through a lot of changes. So um, in my exercises, I had to stop some things because I was dealing with my body retaining water, um, just again, over waste. Uh, it wasn't when I got, until I got into Ramadan that I got a scale. And so I had to be over 200 pounds. Um, I got down to 185 at that time. So, so Ramadan that comes in April, um, well, end of May, I mean, end of, um, January, March, April. So yeah, March, end of March, beginning of May, I mean, April, um, and it ends at the end of April. Um, I didn't make it all the way through Ramadan because I work midnights. And so just juggling the schedule, time schedule difference. And just being realistic with myself as I allow my body to go through other changes. So needless to say, I kept persevering on. And so now we're at June 4th. And I started the three bitters um, three, two day, three days ago because this is day three. So when I first did it, um, it wasn't as bitter as other people was it affected other people. And I do know from my experience as being a herbalist that when you clean toxins out of your body, that bitters doesn't bite as hard because it's not cleansing the same way as if a, a same way as a person who has a lot of toxins in their body. So since I had already did two and a half months of already releasing toxins from my body from um, becoming a vegetarian, and some days uh, uh fruitivore, I was able to cleanse my body, but I still I had so much to go through. So um, I was experiencing a lot of bloating, gas, things of that nature, the colon issues. So bottom line, lymphatic issues. So on day three, I decided today's message, instead of trying to drink eight ounces at one time with each one, although they wasn't necessarily, it didn't bother me to drink it, but it was just too much liquids at one time because my stomach has shrunken. It's not the same size. And so that's just too much liquids in at one time for me. So I decided to go down to the individual. These are five ounce jars. And I, uh, at one time, um, I was on a journey with the RBTI, which is the ring, ring biology therapy, something or other. <laughs> but basically what that does is it's working specifically for you. So you take your saliva and your urine and you find out what is for you and what isn't for you. And then you go on a juice cleanse or whatever the specialist recommended for me. It was a um, great juice concord great specifically um cleanse and it was a seven day cleanse and then start your new live it with fruits and vegetables right no meat well because i am type o my levels was low he recommended that i eat meat at least two times a week just to keep my levels up until i found the proper nourishments from the fruits and vegetables to balance it out but needless to say, I fell off the wagon because that's just really unrealistic. You can't put the 
poison back into your body. And I'm calling, yes, I'm calling me the poison because it's not really for me. So it's my poison um, because it leads me back into other gateways, which doesn't resonate with my body and my system and allow me to be clean. So what was that? Now that's two years later, I'm on to Yaki Awaken, which at that time I was introduced to him, um, but I was trying something else. So needless to say, I'm here. This is day three. And so I wanted to video me drinking the actual drink um, just to see my own self, right? To see what, because it doesn't taste a certain way.